Good morning everyone. In today's video, I will be talking specifically about two topics. First, I will be explaining the spiral array in Dynamo. And second, I will try to use the uh, spiral array as an example to uh, show you the progress in making a basic uh, uh, node or basic scripting here in Dynamo and how you can advance that until you reach with the same topic into more adv advanced uh, way of uh, making scripting and how you can you know try to add and discover all the parameters that you need and place them in uh, you know the script you're making instead of making a very basic nodes that works only in one condition uh, and try to you know uh, give you the, the you know the knowledge required to create a more uh, fully parametric and more advanced geometry and how we can you know discover which part of your design element uh, important to fix and how to make the rest of the parameter depends on it so what i'm starting here uh, guys is the you know previous video that we talked about i think it was uh, points in dynamo uh, 5 it was the polar array example and we end up by having you know this uh, basic 2d polar array which is now uh, active and it creates for us a circle, uh, an array of uh, points around uh, exactly a circle. And, and um, you know, if you remember that, we can have the ability to connect it to the coordinate system and point by origin. And so we can, you know, connect this to the coordinate system here and make this uh, circle move around a specific point that we can feed here in X and Y and Z. Just to remind you, that was in a previous, I think, uh, two or one or two uh, previous video. I'll add a link here for it in case if you need to return to this video. Anyway, so what we was trying to do in the previous video is just very basic. And uh, we depending here, I'm depending here, sorry, on a point by a cylindrical coordinate system, which need angle and radius. And here we have a basic range from zero three to 360 jumping each five. And that's fed to the angle and goes uh, to give a point on each five degree. And the radius is fixed and that creates for us, you know, the full distance between each one of those points from the center of this polar array, uh, which create a perfect circle. Now, if we want to change this into a spiral, then this, the, the actual concept of the, the angle will be the same. We need an array here and we need a range exactly. And the radius should change into an, another range, uh, another range. So technically it should be increasing or decreasing, not a fixed value. So how we do that, uh, let me just uh, turn off this circle and let me jump up to the basic uh, 2D spiral. And all I add here, this, this angle is the same, the same range. I add a range here that can tell Dynamo, I'll start from zero radius to five unit. And in this case, I'm using meter as a unit and I'm jumping each 0.1. So if I open this one, it should give me the range that I was talking about, uh, starting from 0 to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 until we reach, you know, 5. Note that, uh, let me first uh, activate that to show you the spiral. So this is my spiral. Uh, let me just push that aside. Okay, so this is the spiral. Uh, notice that the, uh, you know, the angle is increased. As we said, each five degree, we have a point. And the difference between this one and this one, between the spiral and the circle or polar array, is the increase with each point, uh, all point one from the center creating the spiral shape. Again, this uh, this way or this type of work is very basic and as i said 
uh, it's not really the, the best way to practice uh, Dynamo. It's a very basic way of making nodes. And, you know, as I said in the beginning, I try to explain for you, you know, how you jump from more basic uh, way of making nodes to more advanced way and how to get the best and to try to parameter to add parameters for each uh, elements of your design. Uh, now look if if you if you if you if you really focus you will notice that we have two uh, lists here or two range each one have a different count and that will affect the generation of uh, you know uh, the points and now it's following you know it's automatic so it will be a type of a shortest and it's following following the the least amount so if I go for example and change the lacing and we go to the longest uh yeah now we have a different thing now we notice that we should we should have like a 73 which is following this one but i'm not really quite sure that you know it's for me it's look like here from this point to this point is the spiral but if you notice that from this point to this point uh, it's a kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of a, a circle. This is like a quarter of a circle. And the reason is there is no, you know, the last point I think is five. And this point is given to the rest of, you know, the 37. So if I open this point, let me try to go further and investigate what's happening here. Because we don't have enough changes, you know, that, 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 that number five the radius will be given here in, in the the index 50 so if you look for the index 50 wherever it is this one this guy when it will be generated the 250 degree it will give it which is a three quarter of a circle and that's exactly what happened so that's the first that's the second that's the third quarter so at this point it's end up by having five and the rest of them will be remaining five and that's so true because the range here that we have for the radius is just 51 while the other one is 73 so if i navigate down here and look for point 50 and it should have you know uh it generated this exactly where it is it's 51 sorry 53 sorry yep so 54 and after that look it will have you know the same thing you know the same radius now it's not it's not changing it's not uh, this part is not part it's not 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 belong it doesn't belong to the to the spiral anymore and let's keep the five as the rest uh, for it uh, as as a value for the radius for it and that's kind of incorrect you know so that's why if i go back and short to auto uh, lace auto it will be much better but again uh, have a look uh, of the you know uh, pros and cons of whatever you're doing and you have to be very careful of what you design and you really intend to do such a thing before you go ahead and design such a basic way of creating uh, spirals anyway so let's put that aside if i want to go you know at the second phase a bit more advanced and it will make mess in, if in case of of course increasing the radius again but what, what i've done here is i replaced you know the value of five which is the radius let me turn off this guy and uh you know i added a here so the end of the range i can change it here parametrically or with a slider and instead of making a fixed state or one case scenario so let me activate this one technically the angle is the same nothing changed and uh, i'll just zoom out let's put that aside and have a look now i can change the radius as you can see and it's uh you know getting bigger and bigger and until it's you know until it's reach a point where it is you know the change will affect nothing so let me go back you know to zero and increase that slowly and you can see again that's uh, the generation here is 73 point that's fixed and this guy is uh, 45 uh, points and that's why it's still working and it's careful because the lacing is auto if i keep increasing i think it till it's reach five or something after that this is 63 no 73 so it's still supposed to be you know working perfectly 
77 and 73 now look it's almost nothing that's why i here describe that by it gonna be you know doing a mess because now that's it it's run out of the uh, values for the angle and it's just 73 and increasing the radius after that will not be you know facing uh you know facing the automatic lacing that we have i think we need again to change that into something else maybe to the largest or the uh, sorry the longest in order to see something really freaky and now it's actually fixing the last degree to 360 which is technically zero and it will keep creating point in a linear way so this type of a, this type of you know we added a parameter we make it a bit more parametric more you know interactive than this one before but again as the as the note here said as we go higher value it's going to be making a mess either disappearing in the point as you see when i put the lacing into auto or it kind of just stop the spiral from being generated and go straight line which is technically not what you want so in this case uh let's turn off this let's go to the next phase and see how things can you know develop for us here i was talking to define and, and try to specify the important list from those two and which one you know to stay to, to keep it as a fixed so and uh, take the value or the count which is it was before seven i think 73 i think here yeah. yeah and give that to the to the you know to the other range and make this range depend on the amount of values available on the previous one so what i've done here is uh i took the i took this the angle and it's have 73 value as i said from zero to 360 and an increase of five that's a fixed for now and i get the count of it it's a list dot count that's not a count for you and get back a double or a number uh, of how many value you have in here and it's it's going to return the 73 as an actual double or actual uh, variable uh, for you and i will add this you know in a range that we i create from zero to a which is a the radius you can change but uh, to have a jump of or increment of a b so whatever value you're going to create it will be created by a 73 jump which is this number if you change this this will change and also this list will follow whatever you've done in here better than you know going to find uh, the the suitable uh, lacing for you that's more safe and more advanced so if i go right click on this one and create preview and as you can see okay let me clear the the room here and as you can see that the spiral in this case if i increase the radius you can see it works smoothly and uh, it's actually have a constant points 73 and that's why because whatever, whatever radius you're going to give uh when if it's seven or ten let me make it ten see now it's ten from here that's five and that's five or i make it five so it should be ends in here fully 360 because i started from here and all the way to complete the circle it will be 73 value because it's taken from this fixed list so that's a bit better now we need to push this one a, f a bit further by allowing to change you know not only the radius but also uh, the rotation so from zero to 360 and now that allow the spiral to create more than one loop or more than one rotation and i can also change the you know how many point each five degree or more so instead from 360 i added a so i can control how many round or how many turn uh, the spiral can generate and instead of a five i create here a slider so i can control each 10 uh, angle or each 45 angle or whatever i want the rest is technically the same and don't forget whatever you generate in here so if i click on this guy 73 for now 
it will be taken to this guy and this guy will follow that's what really we want okay so uh, it won't generate any more mess like the one before so this is really more advanced let's turn this one on uh oh not that way let's turn this one on uh preview beautiful now it have a radius of 10 and it's a 360 full rotation now there i will keep the radius fixed and i will go to increase this as you can see oops not that much you gone yep and that's really wrong i don't know where is this crazy number came from i think 1440 is enough for uh, four loops exactly one two three four exactly my math is still still working so if i go uh something like that uh how much is the jump a uh, pair five let me make it 45 okay so if i put as zero uh, 45 and then 90 and so on you know like uh, 180 uh, two, uh 270 and then two jumps to reach 360 uh, let's go maybe 720 to make it two loops yep that's what i want notice that it's this is the zero this is the five this is the ten but how many loops we have 720 that means two loops so that's from here to here one loop and from here to here two loops whatever you you want to measure it it should be the same so from here to here one loop from here to here two loops and so on so that's a, the two loops three loops should be 1080 and the full four loops will be you know uh, 1440 and that's what you can see and notice that the radius is still fixed to to 10 and if you want to make it uh, shorter i'll end up end it up by five to get a smaller spiral and if you want to go and add uh, bigger values like 10 you're going to get fewer number that's the that's the whole uh, that's the whole thing Anyway, so uh, I think, guys, that, uh, you know, this is a plan for you, uh, you know, how to create a spiral array in a Dynamo Rivet and also how to, you know, uh, get your nodes or the way you add the script more advanced, specifically when you have two, uh, you know, lists like this one and this one and how you can make one list fixed and the other one uh, one list fixed like this one and the other one is actually depending on it by using the list dot count as you can see here and how we add more parameter and you have to investigate the case you have and to add more as much as you can parameter to it so you can make it as much more flexible uh, you know uh, to the design and to the, the purpose you are making this array for and of course there is much more steps you can add to make your nodes more advanced you can of course connect it as i show you in the beginning with a coordinate system and a point and you make this point you make the entire spiral move uh, whatever you want you can control to add the spiral array on any face not only on the xy plane as i do it here on the ground uh, you can, uh, you know, change that to not work only in Dynamo, but you can make that work in Dynamo and Revit or only for Revit if you want. And eventually you can turn all this into a custom node. I'll try to give more detail uh, through the course uh, that we are having now. Anyway, that's enough for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching me and have a good day. Bye bye.